Okay, so what we have here are two uh, MacBook boards, they're unibodies, and we have a MacBook here. Uh, not exactly sure what's going on with this one. I haven't opened it up yet, so we'll have to hold that one off till later. But what I was told about these are that they are water damaged. So, if we could get a close-up of the board and the proper reflection... We can see right there that that seems to be some kind of uh, water or some kind of, uh, it's probably coke actually. And we can see uh, some of it right here and over here. Now with this board, we can tell that it's actually uh, corroded here and over here and up here and then in this area. So what we're going to do is take them apart and then uh, put them in some cleaner and clean them and see what we get out of it and see where it takes us so now we're gonna have to break them down and then go take them to uh, where they're gonna be cleaned okay so we have our heat sinks our speakers taken off and uh, what we're gonna do is put our boards through our uh, wash here this is our pre-wash um, and it's just going to chemically break down what is uh, on the boards. So we'll take a brush and um, pretty much wash the boards. So we'll take and uh, pretty much take this board and directly put it in here. And then take a brush and clean it off uh, while it's submerged. And uh, do that for each of them. So uh, that's what we're going to do here next. And then we're going to see... Uh, how it does of cleaning it up and then test it out and see how that goes okay so we have our boards here they're dried um, so what we're going to do is do this one at a time uh, first boards here and we're going to take this and um, hook up this continuity tester to it um, to test it and see what happens so what we're going to do is hook it up to a ground and that's right there and we're going to take and put our um, DC jack in so we get a green light right there so we know we are, we're having an analog signal and we're going to take and do our keyboard bypass um, I've had some well loving comments on my YouTubes about this but it works so um, this is a actual jumper method so we have our fan hooked up and we'll know that it's working and turning on uh, which it didn't do before if we touch this pad and make contact so that's what we're going to do so we have a fan we have it started up so we know that our uh, clean worked. So that's going to be our first one's done. We know that it's cleaned. We know it's turning on. We know it's working. So now we're going to move on to our next one and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to have to set it up and go from there. So before we uh, take this board right here, because we're letting it dry out, we've tested this one. We're going to check this system and see what's going on with it. And per our customer, he says it's overheating and cutting off on him. And very plain and simple, we can tell that the issue resides here. Uh, what he has is a cable with no fan connector. So we need to make this fan connector somehow stick to the board either we need to salvage a connector to make this work or we need to hardwire this connector to the board which is a decision I haven't decided on how I'm going to do it yet so we know that this was a previous system that was uh, cleaned I have water damage on it it was the one that actually had the uh, could not boot um, past anything but we know that it worked um, and it's been confirmed by our 
our customer, but when he was putting it back together, he damaged it, so now he sent it back to us for us to put that fan connector on. So I need to find either a connector to salvage off of a board, or I need to hardwire it in. So that's going to be a few minutes and a decision that I'm going to make, and we'll see where uh, it goes and what I'm going to do. Okay, so what we decided to do was go with the connector. So we soldered the connector on, and now we're going to open up our uh, laptop here and turn it on. Um, so we have the initialization, and we have the fan going right here. So we know that that's going to fix our problem, and of course, we have everything starting up. So we have a repaired system here. Uh, fan connectors on, fans turning, and the system's running. So we're going to call this one uh, complete. We'll probably to uh, keep this from happening again in the future. We're going to do some uh, edits to the system. We'll fix a few things um, to make sure that it doesn't come off or break. But um, what we're going to do is take and shut this system down and we'll call it complete and finished. And um, we'll say that it's good. Fan's still turning so we know that everything's good to go. Just changed out one plastic connector for the other and made sure everything was good to go.